This is Rivian on the five minute time frame. I'm going to show you the channel we're in for Wednesday. We ended the day at $19.56, up a whopping 17%. Congratulations if you've made some money off of this stock. I want to thank Murat for pointing it out. He says to check the daily chart, the gap, and the RSI. We could see this stock under $17 for a correction and the road to roughly between $20 and $25 ahead of us. Now, so I wanted to break this down. We ended the day right here above two standard deviations at 1956, at three standard deviations that would take us to roughly 1993, and at four standard deviations, $20.49. Heading to the south side at two standard deviations is roughly 1942. The middle of the trend takes us back down to 1831. A gap forms to the south side at 1780. Negative two standard deviations is roughly 1722. The gap closes out at roughly 1673. Negative three standard deviations is roughly 1666. And Negative four standard deviations is roughly 1630. Because we are along this line, I do anticipate a sell off as people take their profits and they run right along this zone, and then a correction, and then possibly all the way down for this gap to fill out down the road. And the RSI is at 71. On the daily time frame, The RSI is at 72. This is a very critical area that we are in. This shows me that I do also, it validates what I believe, which is that the stock is going to sell off as people take their profits and they run. Key level again, right here. And it's hard to see because I have so many things going on within my chart. All right, we are right here to the north side at two standard deviations on the daily time frame is 2246 above that roughly 2759 note the previous trading view price target of $28.42 right there in the purple line and at four standard deviations 3272 also note the current one year price target on trading view of $23. So it has been revised down. Now to the south side, the middle of the trend takes us back down to $12.48. So we are in this range, right? Oops, right here in this range. Let me reset this line. Again, the RSI at 75. Let me quickly go over Lucid. I do own shares of this company. This is the daily time frame. I'm going to go back to the five minute time frame. These are old price targets, so ignore that. And also my markings. We ended the day at 739, up more than 7%. To the north side from where we are is roughly 756, 766, and roughly 776 at four standard deviations. To the south side, the middle of the trend is 736, 716, 708. A gap forms to the south side at seven. Negative four standard deviations is roughly 696. 
and 691. Let me go over Ford. We ended the day at 1524, and the middle of the trend gets us to 1537, 1556, 1564, 1573 to the south side, 1520, 1511, and 1502. Let me go over Tesla really quickly. To the north side at two standard deviations is roughly 282.21, 286.77, 287.50, a gap forms to the south side at roughly 276.08. The middle of the trend is 273.02, 263.84. The gap closes out at 263.21. Another gap forms at roughly 260.14. Negative three standard deviations is roughly 359.16. The gap closes out at 257.60. And Negative four standard deviations is roughly 25460. Ignore that line. The RSI is at 63, and if it makes it to this area, I do anticipate a little sell off as we possibly close out all the gaps or go up to the upside and takes us a little higher. Of course, Tesla will whip you around. That does it for me. Again, thank you to Murat for pointing out Rivian. If there is a stock that you would like me to go over, please let me know.